So we are at the old Socorro High School investigating some claims that the locals have. Um, in the rec room where some of the teens hang out, there are reports of a boy in a blue shirt that wanders around. Uh, they're also working on a haunted house down one of the halls in the old middle school portion where they're hearing objects move, plastic rustling like someone's walking around. Uh, in the gym, there's reports of the door opening and closing on its own and uh, a little girl who is said to wander the halls of the high school portion. <laughs> You know, yeah. That's right over here to that screen. Right here. Plug the ropes in. So this is where some of the reports are happening that people are hearing the plastic moving at night while they're here or while they're building the set. But one thing we have discovered is by looking up in this area here, um, there's a lot of exposure to the outside elements that could be causing the breezes to come in and, and move this plastic. We've had it happen a couple times so far since we've been here. So, we've pretty much figured out what's been going on with the plastic. Turn out the cracks in the windows outside right there, too. Yeah, you can see cracks, you know, coming in from also more of the outdoors coming in. Lots of opportunity for wind, breeze, things like that to affect a lot of the props here in the haunted house. So earlier I went to go check the doors between the gymnasium and the wrestling room because there are claims that they're opening and closing on their own. So I did an assessment. When you close the door you can feel an airflow and that's what's causing the doors to shut and open on their own. Here we go. Oh, here comes a big breeze. Go ahead and walk on down there. Another thing we found out that's kind of interesting. Oh, that's a good echo. Another thing we found out that's kind of interesting is a security light. We noticed from uh, the hallway out there that this thing randomly comes on and off. And when it does that, from that vantage point, it does kind of create an illusion like a shadow because you have the light blink on and off. If you see that out of the corner of your eye, it looks almost like there was somebody going by. So uh, we, that's a combination. Also, higher up, uh, I don't know if we can film it because it's dark, but uh, there's trees that are blocking the windows and the wind makes that move and that creates shadows into the gym too. Um, once again, they're probably more uh, an alternative explanation for these shadows that they're seeing moving around in the gym.
Oh, look, there it went. And it will shut off in a minute. And it's spooky. We were here for maybe about 45 minutes to an hour, and we came up front and we heard the door trying to be open. So we came out, we decided to look at the side of the building and find out if perhaps there's a way for them to get in and back. Because we noticed the boy that was trying to open the door had to be upwards about 12 or 13 years old. We saw two boys at the very back of the building, and they were sitting on the steps. So I decided to ask them if there was a way in, and they said, yeah. You don't go through the doors, you go through the windows. And they said one window pops open, and we noticed a broken window. There's no glass, it's just open for someone to get in towards the very back of the high school. We came around front, and pretty soon we hear more and more kids. So we look out the window, and there's probably upwards around five or six or more children, out, really teenagers out there. So we go out there to talk to them. I went out specifically to ask them and find out if there's any urban legends to this building. There's really none. They just said it's scary and they like coming here. So I think what happens here from what they're describing is they see a little girl. I think they scare themselves. I think they come in here and hang out. Uh, they seem to think that most of the activity that they see is in the gym and in the bathroom. But the problem with it is, is one kid tells a story and then everybody jumps in. So it's just that effect of teenagers scaring each other. I don't think there's anything really much to it. The only thing that we did notice, if there's anything connected, is there does seem to be a memorial for a little boy. There is somebody in a blue shirt talked about, and he is wearing a blue shirt. But outside of that, it just seems to be the hangout spot. We noticed a car pull up and talk to these kids and then drive off, and it seems like something that just goes on. So I would say it's another little urban legend, myth-building type stuff going on here. Pretty much we've explained most of the phenomenon. Uh, the only thing that we're uncertain about was the sighting of the little boy, uh, mainly because we haven't got to talk to that witness yet. But everything else is really appearing to have a fully explainable cause. Um, I don't really think there's much here.